That might have been a good idea to do that before I got on this thing. Sizzle, where exactly is the well, um, fuck it, no time panels like the present. that she can interact with? Um, you're gonna have to theater the mind the panels for her. Okay. Let's see. I want to start with like an oxygen leak. Hmm, let's see. Yep. Make her go towards one of the windows. Um, Sir, do you have the FX avatar on right now? Seer, are you in the outfit? Okay. You are now. Okay. Um, Seer can drop a uh, fog near the window when you want the uh, gas leak. Actually, uh, go ahead. Yeah, pop smoke. Ch ch change chairs. Commander. 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 Hi, buddy. Seems we have Seems a, we have um, a um, we have a, what would, a, would this be qualified as, as um, oxygen, oxygen leak. Yes, yes, you would probably you get that fixed that as soon as, as possible. Soon as possible. <sighs> of course, of course, things will never be that simple. This is why I do your safety check. This is why you do your oh, safety 74 check. Oh, 74% and, and falling. Okay. Uh, fucking. This is why you always bring tools. Is there a toolbox nearby? There'll be an emergency. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. That's but I assume there would be an emergency kit. There be an emergency uh, kit somewhere uh, in the somewhere vessel. In the vessel. Oh. You know what? Sure, I'll try it in here, for fuck's sake. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that, that looks good as a... I get the feeling that's foam, since you don't want to do a fucking blow torch right next to a live fucking oxygen link. Uh... Correct. It seems uh, our panel yeah, override panel has override been damaged and must be rerouted through the system. There should be a toolbox located somewhere above eye level. Scanning. Scanning. Found it. If if she were sick, it must have multiple items inside of it. It seems we were a bit lazy when planning. The last commander left his vessel unattended. You can try the first aid kit and see what is inside of it. Okay. It should be there above you. You are a little bit shorter than our normal commander. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Oxygen levels at fifty percent, by the way. Okay, there we go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Your attempts Your at jumping at small altitudes, small altitudes might, be might be able to save you. Don't need the sauce, buddy. Roger, uh, the moving sauce uh, protocol. Moving protocol. Inside here, you see inside a, here you see a small medical bag. Small medical bag, bag tools. Tools. Seems they kind of shoved they everything, kind of in, one everything in one bag. Doesn't look like it, it was, look like you know, was, you know, assembled, assembled by somebody by who knew, somebody what, they knew what they were doing. Rifling through, it, rifling through it, you find a you find small a welding small tool, welding along with a screwdriver so you can move the paneling, paneling, along with a small computer that can be plugged into any of the routers here. Okay then, gonna grab the computer router and I take it as an insert port. Yep, simple link up tool. Alright, gonna plug it in and I'm gonna look for a way to temporarily disable that airline. Easy enough, you are able to route into it. It just needs the commander's pass code, which is going to be one of the ID cards you are currently holding. Uh, There's a card ready? port on I'm the gonna top. Try... I'm going to try the one that we found on the elevator next to the bridge. <laughs> huh. All right, going to try the hangar bay key. <laughs> All right, then, the engineering key. Ding! Engineering code accepted. All right. So, uh, stop airflow to it and also purge it of all of its current oxygen. All right, go ahead. Resealing air vent. Reapplying thermal paste. Sealing window. Oxygen level stabilizing. 
We'll take some time to refill the cabin to 100%, but you should be fine. As long as you do not overexert yeah. yourself. I'll be fine. Uh, in the Yay. meantime, I'm going to get the welding torch, and I'm going to start to repair the damage if I can. Please be careful, Commander. I did ask for it to be, you know, purged as well, so there's no oxygen in it. Siphoning. You should be clear. All right. <clears throat> Please and do I note, I am not the... calibrated to level these. But you should be clear. Do you want to play the uh, damaged sound? You're calibrated to run Go a ahead. capital ship, but you can't handle the systems of a escape pod from said capital ship. Computational Weird, systems huh? damaged. Announcements set to overly cordial. Have a pleasant voyage. Hello, Steve. Why, thank you. He's automated. Right, you know what, it, we'll... He's an asshole. Let me know when you want the you will die one. <laughs> uh, he seems a little too nice. Uh, how long estimate? Oh, it was until we reach planet full. Calculating estimated time of arrival with our current trajectory. Steve, would you like to update me? Thank you, Steve. Helpful as ever. Attitude adjusted. Announcements are blunt and more accurate. You will die. Oh. Well then. Sorry. Our captain really you know, liked it's not his been updates. The first time I've been told that. So all that's left is the reboot and then descent. Um. It looks like we will need so, to reconfigure our controls. One of these computers has been heavily damaged. It seems like your quick departure may have jangled something on the outside, and it needs to be rerouted power through one of the main thrusters. There are multiple thruster pads around the ship. We need to figure out which one is damaged. Okay. So the message does Can say I that the code that has been changed, and that's how... It it recompiles and reboots. Uh, such as? Um, just the, the voice line says, code has been updated, must recompile and reboot. So if you want to figure out how Engine to check complete. This one's deemed operational. Okay, we're gonna have to go to- We are veering off thing. course slowly. That is wonderful. I really hope we don't hit the city. Oh no, we will still hit the planet. Only the wrong direction. Face first. Head oh, first. I... That's bad. Mm -hmm. For you, yes. Wouldn't it be bad for you too, because you're currently in this tub with me? Oh. Let us fix this. Yes, let's. Realigning stabilizer. Uh -huh. Stabilizer, check. Thruster, check. Main panel, check. This engine is good. Alrighty. <laughs> engine, fine. Fuel levels, fine. Fine. Thrusters, fine. Thrusters, fine. You could say something along the lines of the coding for the telemetry is off. Yeah. Hopefully, okay. Bell knows something about math. Paneling errored out. Coding for telemetry off. Balance. Please fix this one. Okay. Recalculating. Um, can I fix it from in here? Well, first things first, what's the issue with it? Is it fuel lines? Is it the actual stabilizer itself? 
telemetry calculations. That would be the stabilizers on the telemetry, right? The keeping it upright? Yes, the ones that are doing the calculating calculations for it. That's why the code has to be fixed. Uh, it can be fixed from inside. What? It seems that one of the stabilizer fins has just been damaged, so you need to manually guide it to the right angle to deal with the oh. new bend. Okay. They'll have to do the calculations, because they're going to have to... Um, the code has to be updated. Is there a tool in here that would be good for uh, cranking it back in place? That there is a tool. There's a wrench gear that controls a arm from the outside that will automatically grab a stabilizer fin. You just have to connect it underneath the paneling and rotate. Okay, seems simple enough. Basically a wrench. Mm. Precision alignment tool. Pulling back on the panel, you can find a small groove. And fitting like a socketed wrench connects right to it. All right, then let's you try. Can test going up or down. Uh, let's try. Which way are we veering off course, uh, computer? Yeah, six percent yes. off course. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Then we're gonna turn down. Correct, commander. You make a great commander. Thank you. Five percent. Four percent. Three percent. Two percent. Seems the fin is getting stuck through to its damage on breaking off from the ship. Of course it is. We might have to put more pressure. Let's try to realign it. Hmm. Is there anything heavy to hit it with? Uh, oh, we can try using your... Never mind. Was you about to say my ass? Of course not. Butthead? Sure. Um... Okay. Actually... You might be good. Um... Is this a handlebar here? Is it, um, hollow? Solid. Normally I would be against breaking things inside here. However, I would not like to be destroyed. <sighs> Right, I need to see if I can find a pipe that's hollow or something that isn't essential oh. to the ship. Oh, the skateboard. The ones holding the other supply boxes should be hollowed out. That's true. I'm going to hit, hit them in the head when they pull that on it. That is a good point, actually. Oh, don't grab the one that we have. Okay, good. What? what? We that's... need to correct our trajectory currently. Nope. The... The box I, I know, above your I know. Head. I'm trying to get something that I can use as a breaker bar to get extra leverage on that wrench. That thing says danger on it. That says danger. <sighs> Isn't everything up and pull? There's the huh? bar holding the first aid kit. I want to repeat in. that, buddy. You kind of got a little bit gobbled. The the bar above you. We can just remove the bars. Trajectory is reverting. Um, let's... We're almost back at 6%. Alright, then we're going to take that bar. Ready? Clink, clink, clink. Okay. okay. You're fucking hard-headed. You have a nice, strong head. I was right about my previous assessment. Yeah, well, I got a helmet for that. What? What? What is she doing Anyways, with the we're first? Gonna jam it over the wrench. What? Use the okay. Extra leverage. <laughs> She's going to jam it, it over the wrench to give her like a longer wrench bar, and okay, then pressure it, push it down, and then keep it beaded. Mm -hmm. Trajectory returning back to normal. Trajectory at two percent. One percent. Trajectory fixed. <clears throat> the weight of that toolbox should okay. be enough to keep it in line. I hope. We need to quickly fix the last segments. 
we are running out of time. <sighs> what do we need to do? Last two engines. All oh, right, yeah, we need to check. I thought there's only one engine. Uh, there's thrust, multiple thruster engines. There's one there are multiple right. thrusters. I thought you said there was only one thruster that was not, well, misaligned. Whoops. Maybe I should reprogram the warning anybody. systems. Thruster, compatibility check. Everything seems system nominal. All right. Oh, goody. We are about to enter the atmosphere. I would suggest fixing the last one and getting seated. Sometimes it gets okay. a little bumpy. Head trauma may be endured, even though I know you have a really solid one. Just Skipping the reboot. That. System analysis. Cleared. All systems nominal. Checks. Vital signs. Nominal. We are now about to enter. Go ahead and pop it. I would suggest sitting down. The reboot or the yeah, design? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, reboot. Uh, okay. okay. You can go there. And then as soon as I do a voice line, you can go ahead and Core descend. code change detected. Recompiling and rebooting pod operating system. Oh, fuck. This is normal. We... Oh. Yeah. Wait. Now I trigger fire now it's on the normal. far side when the thing crashes. Ready? Uh, no fire. Is it? Ready, this is the fun part. Done, Captain. We feels like fun to me. Oh fuck! It's been an honor serving you. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. You did fantastic, Sizzle. Awesome. Yay.